Hello, this is Arts in Alaska by me, Ariana, for A160 Art Appreciation. Art Turn Stickers. Stickers are a fun way to display art, can be inexpensive to make and buy, are a versatile way to show your love for art that you can take with you anywhere, and are just plain fun. I have had a fascination with stickers for as long as I can remember and enjoy the simple on-the-go fun they provide. For this project, I contacted local Alaskan sticker artists and they were enthused when I asked them if they would like to be a part of this presentation. I provided a template of questions that follows. Are you Alaskan born or are you a transplant? Not from Alaska. How did you get started as an artist? What inspires you as an artist? What do you love most about your medium? And what is your favorite thing about Alaska and the Alaskan art scene? Local Alaskan artist Kitty Sopow inspired me to pick sticker art as my theme for this presentation. I have bought and shared her sticker art with everyone I know. I am excited to share her art with you today. Kitty creates graphic art turned stickers. Her stickers center around Alaskan inside jokes and novelty themes such as fishing and boating often depicting women doing Alaskan activities that we can all relate to. Like most of us, her favorite thing about Alaska is access to public land. Being an artist is all she knows and it's how she makes sense of the world. Laura Whitlock lives in Alaska and originally came from Pennsylvania. After taking a summer job at Denali Park, her art career started when she began doodling park rangers in Denali on post-it notes at her desk job. You can purchase her Denali Park inspired stickers at Denali National Park's gift shop. She likes that stickers are cost efficient to produce and calls them jelly beans of the art world. You can't have just one. Creating art has been and continues to be a lifelong journey for Laura. Her stickers showcase the beauty of Alaska with our one-of-a-kind scenery and unique animals. She gets her inspiration from Alaska's beautiful Eden-like landscape. Bethany Wagner lives in Seward, Alaska and is Alaskan-born. Bethany is inspired by storytelling, street art, mythology, art history, and other artists. Being an artist is part of her identity, and she has been an artist since childhood. She became a high school art teacher and taught for nine years. This helped grow her passion for art. She recently took a step back to be a mom. Her favorite medium is multi-layered spray paint stencils, and this gives her the freedom to experiment with her art. She, like most Alaskans, find our scenery inspiring. Her stickers showcase mythical-like scenes of women, animals, and the landscapes of Alaska. For her, the Alaskan art scene is awesome because local businesses are supportive and help share her art. She loves to see Alaskan artists connected through online spaces and places like the Anchorage Museum. Nick Allen is an Alaskan-grown Clinkett artist born in Ketchikan, Alaska, who now resides in Seattle, Washington. Nick says that growing up in an Alaskan household, Alaska Native artwork was always a part of his life. His journey through art was a slow progression. After getting laid off from his job in 2018, he was able to start producing his art full time. He is inspired by the positive impact art has and is proud that Alaska Natives are reconnecting with their cultures through art and with the revitalization of Alaskan Native languages. He appreciates that his art is used as a tool in Alaska Native education. His favorite thing about Alaska is how much Alaskans are intertwined with nature. His 2D artwork stickers showcase Clinkett themed Alaskan Native art 
Alaskan Animals and Landscapes. Kelsey Erickson Kaiser is a born and bred Alaskan. Her main goal is to connect with other people through art. She has always been interested in art and enjoys using acrylic paints as her medium. She loves that Alaska is so unique and is very inspired by our beautiful state. Her stickers are fun and silly, depicting the Alaskan pilot bread boy, fun fishing stickers, and of course, extra tough boots. Amanda Rose Warren is a transplant, but makes Alaska her home. Amanda has always loved being creative since childhood. She uses acrylics to make her art because they're forgiving and easy to correct mistakes. She started painting when she was 27, auctioning off pieces to raise money for her mother's chemotherapy. She says Alaska appreciates local artists and likes that stickers are an affordable way to share her art across the world. She loves animals in bright colors, as you can see from her stickers. This was such a fun and amazing project. I had a great time connecting with local artists and sharing their stories and art. I hope this collection will highlight their creations as they deserve it. You can purchase their stickers from the links posted in each of the slides. They range from about $4 to $6 a piece and most come with free shipping. You can also find them at many local Alaskan businesses across the state and online. I would like to thank each artist who participated and I hope everyone that listens checks out their art. Art comes in many forms and inspires many people. Thank you.